Alright guys, my uh, Macy Moto radiator has been on the car for about a week now, maybe a week and a half, I don't remember, but uh, yeah, I just want to talk about it, impressions about it, and a little quick uh, DIY on how to change this, or how to put this in, I should say, take out your old one. So, here's my old radiator. This is actually one of the easier radiators to change. I've done a lot and this it was pretty simple. First of all, take off the hose right on top. Easy. Then, obviously you want to drain the radiator. So, right here there's a, a, a valve. It just has a Phillips um, valve on it. So you can just go at it with your screwdriver. Turn it counterclockwise. Let all the antifreeze drain out. And, uh... Yeah, keep in mind, make sure your car is cool when you're doing this. You don't want to get burned. Alright, so you have it all drained out. Close that back up. And the next thing you're going to do would be to take these off. Two 12 millimeters, one right here. One right here. Both of these come out. Then, you're going to take off your upper hose clamp. Take that off pull it out the way and since by now you should have your radiator drained you could also go down there and pull the lower hose it's easier to get it from the bottom of the car so just come through here and there it goes take that hose off now you're gonna have all this out the way Next step, disconnect the fans. Here goes one harness for the fan. It's literally just a button you push right here. And it comes out just like that. So that's the one for the left side. And the fan harness for the right side is right here. Same idea. Push the button, clip comes out. Okay, so fans will now be unplugged. Next step is take off these 10 millimeter bolts. There's three on top one, two, and three. So you get those three knocked out because they're the easiest. And then there's going to be two more 10 millimeters on the sides. Let's see if I could get this in camera. kind of see it but there it goes one ten millimeter right there let me try to point to it it's right there and the one on this side is a little bit more hidden but you'll get to it okay here's the trick now once you get all the bolts off of the fans this one right here is going to slide out very easily. Pretty much just kind of wiggle it a little bit and slide it straight up. This one on this side, because it has all these AC lines and everything in front of it, once it's completely disconnected, what you want to do is just uh, wiggle it back and forth until you get it to slide all the way over here. So basically, you're not going to be able to pull the fan straight out. You got to get it to slide sideways and you're going to pull it out of this area just like you did the first fan and that's literally everything so once you drop in a new radiator which is really simple um, just reverse all your steps it's really simple make sure you uh, bleed any air out the system when you refill it with antifreeze um, Okay, so now here's my thoughts on this Mishimoto radiator. Uh, it's it's a nice radio. Obviously, it looks nice in the hood. Um, like I said, installation was a breeze. Uh, everything lined up correctly. It's I only had one issue with this radiator, and it's something that's so odd to me because, as you can see, I'm using Mishimoto hoses with their radiator. The problem I had was that the hose diameter was a little bit larger than the diameter of the radiator. 
Sorry, my camera cut out. Anyways, like I was saying, the problem I, I had with the hose and the radiator is that it was a larger diameter. So, at first, it had a very small leak, but as pressure would build up, it got it turned into a larger leak. And the only solution I found for this is silicone, which I used a very thin amount because I'm not. I don't know. I just don't like the idea of it. Anyways. The silicone I use is water pump silicone since it's uh, resistant to uh, antifreeze. And if you look closely in there, you can actually see it's a real thin layer. I put it on the top one and on the bottom one. I let it sit on the radiator for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then I slid the hose over it and I clamped it. And it's been working great ever since. Not a single drop of antifreeze. Other than that, it's, it's a nice radiator. It does work. Um, with the old radiator, uh, I had my scan tool attached to it, and when the fans would kick in around, I don't know, 200 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, the temperature would drop just like uh, 200 a few seconds later, and you know, 199, 198, and so on. With this radiator, once the fans kicked in, it drops from like 200, 197, 194, 190, one, you know, 187, and so on. So it, it does have better cooling efficiency. Great radiator. And uh, there isn't much else I could say about that. So that's just kind of my review on it, my thoughts on it. And hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.